More than one million Americans lose time from their job each year because of a work-related injury, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor. Sadly, chronic pain leaves many permanently disabled. But now, a small medical device is helping workers get off of disability and back to work. 40-year-old Todd Weitzel prepares for a typical day at work. He will deliver up to 260 packages today. I have an extremely active job that requires me to basically handle a lot of packages, and I've been doing it for a little over 20 years. Decades of wear and tear left Todd with multiple herniated discs. His doctors tried epidural injections, anti-inflammatories, and a variety of prescription painkillers. Todd missed 18 months of work, and nothing eased the pain. By the end of the day, my pain level had gotten to probably a 8 out of a 10. Um, it became harder and harder to walk throughout the day. I struggled to do my job and found that by the end of the day, uh, I couldn't handle the pain anymore. At the time of, of my last injury, it was told to me that I wouldn't ever go back to work. And that scared me more than anything else. Hey, good, good morning, Dr. Carter. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Good. Unwilling to give up, Todd kept searching for another therapy option. Todd was referred to pain specialist Dr. Kevin Carnes. When I first met Todd, he complained of excruciating back pain and had seen several physicians had multiple treatments, including injections, physical therapy, tried multiple medications. Unfortunately, he didn't get the pain relief he was looking for. He came to me and he told me he was very motivated to return to work. And for that reason, I thought he'd be a good candidate for a spinal cord stimulator trial. Spinal cord stimulators are used to manage chronic pain of the arms, legs, and back, or pain from back surgeries that have failed. Essentially a pacemaker for pain, these devices are typically implanted in the lower back and connected to electrical leads that are placed in the epidural space near the spinal cord. The neurostimulator emits mild electrical pulses that interrupt or mask the pain signals transmitted to the brain. Mary Titanen is hoping spinal cord stimulation will allow her to return to work as well. She's been unemployed for over a year after a bathtub fall left her in chronic pain. It was absolutely horrible. I could not stay at my job. I could not stand. As a cashier, you're always standing, you know, like for eight hours, we're expected to be on our feet. Mary, like all spinal cord stimulator patients, underwent an evaluation procedure or trial. This is the first step in determining if spinal cord stimulation will adequately control her pain. The trial is kind of like the test drive period where a patient can experience what the technology is like without having to go undergo through a major procedure. The evaluation period lasts about a week, and most patients experience a 50 to 60 percent reduction in pain. It was wonderful. I wish I could have kept it. <laughs> to make you real comfortable, everything's going perfectly. I couldn't be happier with Because the leads are temporary, patients must follow precautions during the evaluation period. These include avoiding activities that could cause the leads to move or lifting anything heavier than five pounds. Physicians' instructions regarding acceptable activities and caring for the bandaged area should be followed. I was in pain with the incision, and I really did have to take my pain pills just because of the incision, but the rest of my pain was like almost completely gone. I almost had no pain in my leg, and I couldn't even recognize any pain in my back. So it was completely gone. Following a successful trial period, a permanent neurostimulator system can be implanted. As with any surgery, there are risks involved. Possible complications include persistent pain, numbness, or weakness at or around the implantation site, paralysis, and allergic reactions to the device. With a permanent implant, the leads really are secured during the first four to six weeks, and we recommend that they don't lift heavy objects to avoid excessive bending or twisting, and that's to minimize lead migration or lead movement. After the permanent implant surgery, the device is programmed to meet the patient's individual pain patterns and needs. Do you feel tingling where you normally feel your pain? Yeah. Very good. After programming, the patient is given a controller that allows them to adjust the power level, select from preset programs, check the system's battery, and turn the system on and off. 
I think one of the best tips I can give somebody is once you've had the implant implanted, you have to allow your body to heal. You're going to be sore in the beginning. You're going to be uncomfortable with the sensations you feel, but you have to let your body heal and then um, work with your doctor to adjust the programming that you have with your device to fit your needs. It's going to take a couple sessions to adjust to your personal needs. Everybody's needs will be different. Todd was successfully implanted with his spinal cord stimulation system last year. Since that time, he's back to work and has resumed nearly all of his normal activities. The spinal cord stimulation is extremely important for the workers' compensation population because in a case like Todd's, you have an individual who is unable to work. You're talking about a young person who has many, many years that he could be working and being a productive member of society and this technology has allowed him to return to work and he's going to continue to work for decades and it's also changed his life in that he's much happier he's taking less pain medicine he's able to do more activity when you're injured you don't realize how much you lose out on your child's life or your you know being with your family and i found myself when i was injured not able to go for walks on the beach um, not able to help with everyday chores, not able to provide financially or emotionally. All you want to do is lay down. Since the implant, I, I think I've gotten a lot of my life back. I'm not going to say I got 100% of it, but I got 75% back. And I'm happy with 